There was an understanding of the Civil War that developed immediately after the war and was promoted uh, both by Lincoln and by others like Frederick Douglass to see the war as an opportunity for the moral regeneration of the United States and an opportunity for us to finally live up to the promises of the Declaration of Independence. That effort failed uh, and I think that interpretations of the Civil War while thousands of them perhaps have been laid out in the intervening years our understanding as a state and a nation of the Civil War has remained as divided as the war was itself. I'm Bob Archibald, President of the Missouri History Museum. In November of 2011, the Missouri History Museum will be opening an exhibit on the Civil War in Missouri. And we think that this is a terribly important topic that's important for all people who call Missouri home because the legacy of the Civil War is still very, very much with us. It's in our politics, it's in our civic decision making, it injects itself into nearly every civic conversation. And so I think that this is an opportunity for all Missourians to reconsider the Civil War and to look at really wonderful, provocative, evocative objects that have been in the collections of this institution, uh, some for nearly 150 years. Perhaps the most poignant artifact, and it would be really hard for me to call it a favorite artifact, but the most poignant artifact is a slave collar, which when I look at it, the round, iron, heavy, rusted, with holes for a lock, I think, what did you have to think about people to put that around somebody's neck? And that's a pretty startling thought, because you really had to dehumanize the person. You had to say, this isn't a really a human being. Uh, this is a piece of property, and I can own it, and I can do what I want with it. And that's the issue at the heart of the Civil War. And for me, uh, the slave collar and confronting that is only slightly an intellectual experience. It is an exhibit and an object at its best because it forces people to react emotionally. And the power of exhibits is not the power of a textbook. The power of an exhibit is the emotional, evocative power of an object like a slave collar. The Civil War, of course, uh, is not something you only do on anniversaries. You can't really talk about the Civil War in St. Louis or in Missouri uh, without really reflecting on the Civil War and its legacy and its consequences for us and for our state. What were the ultimate causes of the Civil War? And I think as an institution, we've taken some really strong positions on that. Uh, and I think many people across the country as they face this sesquicentennial uh, are following that lead, that this, this was really a war about slavery. And it was a war about slavery here in Missouri. It was a war about slavery everywhere. And even the terminology we use to describe the war, uh, the Civil War, the War of Rebellion, war between the states, the war of northern aggression. We know that even in 2011, those are all loaded words. And they all have to do with the differing ways and sometimes radically opposite ways that Americans perceive the Civil War. And if we can do something here with this exhibit to contribute to a sort of a reconsideration of the causes and motivations for the Civil War, both in Missouri and beyond, I think we will have contributed something substantive, not only to our understanding of the Civil War, but to, I hope, the resolution of the divisions and divides that persist as a result of the Civil War, in which you can see written on the landscape of our city.